guys, it's Sierra. Welcome back to my channel. So I am just about to head out and go to the mall because in today's video, I am going to see what $100 can get me at 10 different stores. So this is gonna be an expensive video, but I think it's gonna be really interesting to see how far your dollar can go depending on what kind of store you're at. So the rules that I'm giving for myself for this video are it has to be plus or minus $10 from 100, so anywhere from 90 to 110. That way it keeps a pretty even comparison between what I get at each store. I'm allowed to shop on the sale racks, but I'm not allowed to go to outlet stores because I know that not everyone has outlet stores near them and I wanna streamline this as much as possible. And third, anything that I buy and that I don't wear within the first week of buying it, I'm going to return. Because even though I think it's gonna be really interesting for you guys to see what I can get for $100, I don't wanna be wasteful. So we'll see how much I end up keeping and how much I end up returning at the end of this week as well. So, let's go to the mall. Okay, I'm at the mall. First stop is Forever 21. This is gonna be my cheapest store and I'm gonna work my way up to the more expensive designer stores. Forever 21 clothes seem to range from about $15 to $30. So I'm thinking I can probably get like four or five clothing items in the budget. We'll have to see though. This is gonna be an adventure. I don't typically shop at Forever 21. Their clothes don't fit me super well all the time. So uh, it's probably gonna take a lot of trial and error to fill up my $100 budget. Okay, so let's go through what I got for $100 at Forever 21. Also, I know I'm obviously buying a lot of stuff in this video. I don't need all these clothes. I just wanted to show how far your money can go depending on where you're shopping. I'm gonna do a video on my vlog channel a week from now showing what items I ended up returning and what things I kept. So make sure you're subscribed to my second channel so you can see that video next week. But anyways, Forever 21. They had a lot more items in my style than I expected. It's honestly been a while since I've shopped at Forever 21. And it seems like I'm kind of right in between standard sizing and plus sizing at Forever 21. I can kind of fit into both, but in their plus sizing, I would be a zero X and they didn't have very many zero options in the plus size section. So I'm mostly stuck with the standard sizing clothes, but it is good to know that I can do both. So the first thing I got is this little white button up crop top and it is a little bit see-through. So I would definitely wear a half tee with this on a normal day. It really hits me in just the right spot where it's really flattering and the perfect amount of body. I liked it so much actually. I got it in two colors. I got it in yellow as well. Both of these are in a large and they were $14.90 each. Next, I got this gray sweater and I really like the fit of this because it's relaxed, but it's not too oversized. And this sweater was $17.90 and I got this one in a large as well. And when I was venturing into the plus size section, I saw this blue and white striped sweater and they did have it in a zero. And blue is my favorite color, so it was an easy yes. And this was $19.90. So I tried on a lot of clothes at Forever 21, but these were the only four pieces that I really liked enough to buy. And I wasn't at the $100 threshold yet, so I got some accessories. I really love headbands and they had so many at Forever 21. So I got two. This floral one was $4.90. And this little black one with the wrap on the front, the little tie, super cute, was $3.90. And then I also got two packs of earrings. So I have my ears pierced, but I like never wear earrings because I just don't have a lot of them. So I thought this was a good opportunity to stock up on some earring packs. This one has 10 pairs in it and it was $6.90. And this one has three pairs, but they're a little bit nicer. And it was $5.90. I don't know why the prices of everything at Forever 21 end in 90 cents. Maybe it's some sort of like weird psychological idea to make you spend more money. I'm sure that's it. That's gotta be it. Anyways, my total came out to $96.11. And for that price at Forever 21, I got four tops two headbands and 13 pairs of earrings. Forever 21 is a wrap, second store of the day. We're going to Old Navy. So Old Navy is actually one of my favorite stores. I think they have really good prices, really good quality. Things seem to range from about $12 to about $30 on the high end, so pretty inexpensive, but I think the quality is much better than Forever 21. So I'm excited to find some cute stuff. Let's head inside. big 
bag from Old Navy, but the most challenging part about shopping there was there are so many markdowns. It's kind of like Kohl's where the actual price on the tag of the shirt is very rarely what you actually end up paying because they have so many little discounts. So it was pretty difficult to keep track of how much I was actually spending, but I did end up getting right to the perfect amount. So the first thing I got is this black basic V-neck tee in an extra large. And I'm so confident about this t-shirt right here. I'm taking off the tag. I love this shirt. It's definitely a keeper. I loved it so much. I actually got it in red also. And these are two things I will definitely be keeping. I'm going to link this shirt in the description because it is pretty great and it's only $13. So yeah, I thought these were a really good find. Then I got this little yellow crew neck sweatshirt that says stay amazed on the front and it was $29.99. Then I got the black high rise rockstar leggings in a size 12. And I actually already have a pair of the rockstar jeggings and I already know I love the cut, but these ones get this. These ones have like fuzzy fleece on the inside. I thought these were pretty great and they were $23.99. And the last thing I got is this polka dot button up jean shirt. I think this is really cute and would be perfect with like leggings and boots for a casual little fall or winter or even spring look because of the polka dots. And it was on sale for $15.99, which brought my grand total to $104.68. At Old Navy, that got me two t-shirts, a pair of jeans, a button up shirt, and and a crew neck sweatshirt. Store number three, one of my personal favorites, American Eagle. So American Eagle can range from about $25 to $50 per item, except for jeans. Jeans can sometimes be a little bit more than that $50 mark, but uh, I love their jeans. So maybe I'll be getting a new pair today. I shop at American Eagle pretty regularly, which if you've seen other videos on my channel, you probably know that by now. So I'm pretty familiar with their store layout, their pricing. It shouldn't take me long at all to hit that $100 threshold. I actually ended up deciding against getting jeans because I have four pairs right now that I cycle through. I I think my jeans needs are pretty much satisfied. What I did get though is this gray lightweight hoodie. This is like perfect for Southern California winter because you feel snuggled up, you feel cozy, but you're not gonna get overheated because winter for us is like 60 degrees. This jacket was $40 and I got it in a large. I love the look of this boxy corded sweater on the rack, but they only had it left in an extra small or an extra large. So I tried the extra large and I almost didn't get this sweater because I thought it seemed too oversized when I tried it on, but I realized it'll still be really good to pair with tighter bottoms like the jeans that I was wearing. And this sweater was $45. So those two items together almost brought me up to $90. I was just underneath it. And I saw this really soft, fuzzy jacket on the sale rack for $15. And it was in a size small. And my friend Kenzie is pregnant right now. If you guys watch the vlog channel, you saw all those pregnancy vlogs. And she has been like living in comfy, cozy things. And she usually wears a size small. So when I saw that, I was like, this is the perfect thing to round out my purchase. Okay, I met up with Kenzie. I got you something from American Eagle. It was the only thing left in a size small. And I thought you could like cuddle up on the couch in that <laughs> and eat all your pregnancy cravings. Which is Wetzel's pretzels right now. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So that rounded out my total to $108.70. So at American Eagle, that gets you one sweater and two hoodies. Store number four, Abercrombie and Fitch. I only recently got back into Abercrombie. I always thought of Abercrombie as one of the like intimidating cool kid high school stores, but recently they've been like stepping it up. They've got some really cute stuff. I think the prices are just like one step above American Eagle. I think about maybe 30 to $60 per piece. So uh, we'll see how far my $100 can go at Abercrombie. Still forever has the overpowering Abercrombie smell, but the clothes are cute. So Abercrombie, 
actually ended up being more expensive than I thought, except they did have some really good markdowns on their sale rack. I got this little short sleeve button blouse on sale for $9. And I actually already have the same shirt in pink. I got it over summer and I wear it a ton. So I got this one in a large and then the next item I got in an extra large. This little black cropped hoodie was $58, which does seem expensive for a regular hoodie. So on a normal day, I think I would have passed and tried to find something similar at a different store, but we got to fill up that $100 and I did like it, so I got it. Now that shirt that was on sale didn't have that big of a markdown on the tag. I think it said $25 on the tag, so I thought I was done and I checked out. Let me grab one more thing. Right. Can I just hold those up front? Yeah, Thanks. So I also got these little fuzzy slipper sandals for $10.50 and this blue bandana for $6.99. I feel like that's a really good price for a bandana like this. It's silky. It has like a really nice design on it. Anyways, my total was $91.13. And at Abercrombie, that gets you a blouse, a hoodie, a bandana, and a nice little pair of slippers. Store number five, it is time for Nordstrom's. Nordstrom's is definitely getting up on the pricier side as we go. Considering we're halfway through, these stores are gonna start getting a lot more expensive. Nordstrom's carries a lot of brands from different price points though, so I'm hoping I'll be able to get a pair of black boots. I don't have any black boots right now, and there've been a lot of outfits I've been styling lately that I've been like, huh, this would look really cute with black boots. Today's outfit, for example, I think it looks cute with the brown boots, but I think it'd look even cuter with some matching black boots. So that's what I'm gonna try to find at Nordstrom's. Oh, or a new jacket. I have been looking for a new jacket. This is so cute. Oh, I have a feeling it's gonna be out of the budget. Yep, my feeling was correct, even with the discount. Uh, moving on, goodbye cute jacket. Okay, so shopping at Nordstrom's was tough. Every single pair of their tall black boots was over $100 and almost all of the black booties were still over $100. But I did find one pair, finally. These little black booties were $99. So with tax and everything, they rang up to $107.50, which is definitely more expensive than I would normally spend on a pair of boots. But they are very cute, very comfortable. I'm just used to doing my shoe shopping at Macy's on Black Friday where shoes are like $15. So Nordstrom's was definitely more expensive than I expected. Okay, so we're halfway through the first five stores down and now the next five are definitely the more expensive kind of like luxury designer brands and they don't have that at my mall because this is not a rich person mall. <laughs> so I'm gonna drive down to like the downtown area where they have this big mall with a ton of more expensive stores and we're gonna do the last five but I was getting a little bit tired of shopping on my own, only buying stuff for me, so Look who came to join me, it's Kenzie. Also, I got you a present, it's in the car. <laughs> so Kenzie, you have to help me spend $500 at five stores. Do you think we, yeah. We could do that in one store at that mall. <laughs> so I just got into store number six. Not gonna film this outside the store because it is pouring rain and this mall is outdoors. So made well. These prices vary from about $50 to $150, so we're definitely getting up there on the price scale. I love made well. All of their stuff is like very my style. I would shop here all the time if I won the lottery, but I didn't, so I don't shop here that often. It is one of my favorite stores, but I definitely come here in moderation since it's more pricey. But let's see what I can find under the $100 budget. Okay, I found something. Kenzie, you find something? Yay! Uh, how much is yours? 45, how much is yours? 40. Yay! Okay, so that should take us like right to $100 with tax and everything. Got a size extra, cause you know I'm pregnant. <laughs> Total is 9105. Awesome, thank yeah, you so yeah. much. Have a good one. Thanks, have a good day. So at Madewell, all of the dresses and pants that I was interested in were over $100, so I didn't get a chance to try any of those. But they did have some tops in my budget, so I found one that I really, really liked, this burnt orange wrap style blouse. This was $45, and I just love the fit, I love the design, I got it in an extra large, and I think I will definitely get a lot of use out of this. And I also got a top for Kenzie. She picked out this yellow sweater that was $40, and that rounded out her total to 
to $91.05. So for a hundred bucks at Madewell, you can get two tops. All right, store number seven. We are going to free people. I'm thinking we'll probably only be able to get one item here, but yeah. Definitely. <laughs> free people can range from about $50 to about $200, so a little bit more pricey than Madewell. And a lot of their stuff is that more like boho vibe. I've gotten some cute stuff here before, but it's not a place I shop super frequently, especially because of the price. But today, we're doing it. <laughs> was so pricey. Like most of what I found under a hundred dollars was like t-shirts. And considering I had just gotten two great t-shirts from Old Navy for like 13 bucks, I was not inclined to spend $50 on a shirt. Eventually I found something that I did really like and didn't think was outrageously priced. This little one size fits all cocoon cardigan is totally my style. I wear things like this all the time. I mean, it's expensive. It's a $70 cardigan, but for free people, I've seen a lot worse. And to finish out our $100, we found this little $20 black bralette for Kenzie. It's super comfy and soft and stretchy and free people bralettes are just my favorite. So I actually recommended it to her. So for $100 at free people or $94.82 to be exact, you can get one cardigan and one bralette. Okay, store number eight, I'm headed to Kate Spade. Things at Kate Spade usually range from about 90 to $300. So getting up to the higher end of like designer goods, but I've only ever shopped at the Kate Spade outlet. So I'm not really sure what to expect at the regular store. Also, now that we're getting up into these more luxury designer brands, it's not nearly as acceptable to film inside. So we'll see how much footage I can get inside before they tell me that you're not allowed to film in there. I'll try my best for you guys, I try. Spade. All of the clothes, like literally every single item of clothing I looked at was between $150 and $400. So definitely out of our budget. And the same went for all of the handbags and most of the jewelry. There were only a few items under that $100 price point, a few small wallets and a few rings. So I decided on this little black and pink wallet. It does seem very functional. It's got a ton of little card slots, even has a little keychain on it. But with tax and everything, it came out to $105.60. And I know there are plenty of designers that charge way more than that, but I feel like because I've always shopped at the Kate Spade outlets, that seems so overpriced to me, even though it's not for Kate Spade. But like at the outlets, you can get a wallet for 30 bucks. So stop number nine on our shopping extravaganza, we are going to Gucci. So I don't even know if they sell anything under $100. I think most of their items range from about 500 to about 10 grand. So uh, yeah, maybe I can buy like a pencil or something. I have no idea. Can you believe it? We actually managed to find something for $100 at Gucci. Of course it's boxed up because Gucci is so extra. This pair of white socks with black trim, it says Gucci on the front in black. Like, don't get me wrong, this feels like a very nice pair of socks. Definitely the nicest pair of socks I've ever held. But $100 for something that's just gonna be stinky on your feet all day? That seems like a little bit of overkill. I feel like it would be better to save up for a, you know, three or $400 item from Gucci instead of a $100 pair of socks that are gonna get dirty after the first use. So I will probably be exchanging these for something else. I'm gonna put them right back in the box. But these were $100 on the dot. So with tax, they came out to $107.75. Okay, last stop of the day, Louis Vuitton. I am gonna be so shocked if they have anything under $100. I mean, I thought Gucci wouldn't and I at least found one thing, but I feel like Louis Vuitton is even more expensive, but we'll see. There was nothing. Louis Vuitton did not have a single item under $100. And as soon as I walked in, they also told me I couldn't film. So don't have any footage. 
sorry. But Kenzie and I looked for probably 20 or 30 minutes. We just kept kind of walking around looking at some of the smaller items that we thought maybe could be around $100. And the cheapest thing that I found was this $200 card holder. So definitely over budget. Maybe they had something cheaper, but you can't exactly go into a store like Louis Vuitton and be like, what's your cheapest item? So uh, yeah, $100 at Louis Vuitton gets you nothing. <laughs> Anyways, after doing this video, I think the store with the best value for your money is Old Navy. The clothes are pretty cute. They're definitely simple, but really high quality. Everything I've bought from Old Navy has held up a lot more than things from like, you know, Forever 21 or H&M. It's a good balance of money and quality. I feel like if you're looking for a place that's gonna give you the most bang for your buck, Old Navy is probably it. I think the worst value for money would actually be Kate Spade. And honestly, I'm aware that that is mostly because I'm just jaded from the outlet store pricing, but $100 for a wallet is a lot. And at least if you're shopping at, you know, like Gucci or Louis Vuitton, those stores were definitely more expensive than Kate Spade, but at least you know you're getting the best possible price unless you were to, you know, buy an item secondhand or something. This video was so interesting and so much fun to make. I wanna thank our sponsor for making it possible, HelloFresh. Because you know what my favorite thing to do after a long day of filming and shopping is? Eat. And you know what I don't have time to do? go to the grocery store. You guys know that I've been making my health and fitness a priority this year, and I just find it so much easier to eat healthy when I have meals planned and food ready to cook. And HelloFresh is so convenient. It stops me from eating out, but still saves me a lot of time and hassle from having to go buy all the ingredients to make the meals that I wanna make. With HelloFresh, you get delicious, filling meals delivered right to your door every week. And I love being able to whip up dinner in around 30 minutes, but still getting to try something new. With your HelloFresh subscription, you can switch between the different meal options like HelloFresh's classic, veggie, and family plans to match your taste for that week. I'm a vegetarian, so we get the veggie meal kit and oh my gosh, the recipes are, they're amazing. I made this grilled cheese and veggie jumble last week and Steven and I were obsessed and we never would have tried a recipe like this if it wasn't for HelloFresh. HelloFresh really gets us out of that recipe rut and helps us learn to cook new things that are outside of our comfort zone. And each box features farm to fork goodness with fresh and responsibly sourced ingredients. HelloFresh is now from $6.99 per serving. It's America's number one meal kit and you can get started with six meals free. So that's two free meals in each of your first three HelloFresh boxes. Just go to hellofresh.com and enter promo code SierraS60 to get $60 off. So thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring and thank you for watching, especially if you watched all the way up to this point, you are the real MVP. MVP. Make sure you're subscribed to my vlog channel so you can see that video where I show what I keep and what I return next week. I mean, this was a gigantic haul. And like I said, I don't wanna be wasteful. I only wanna keep things that I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of. I just wanted to show you how far your dollar can go depending on what store you're shopping at. Anyways, be confident, love your curves, and I will see you on Friday with another new video. Bye.